Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Why can hitters use pine tar on their bat, but pitchers can't use pine tar on the ball? I've been getting this question a lot from people, and I want to give you my thoughts now. So as you all know, there are some big changes going on right now with MLB and foreign substances. Pitchers are being checked after innings to make sure that they're not using any illegal foreign substances. Umpires are checking the pitcher's glove, their belt buckle, their hat to make sure that nothing is on them. But hitters have used pine tar on their bat to help them get a better grip for ages. And that same pine tar would be considered illegal if a pitcher were to use it. Now, if you don't know what pine tar is, I think a lot of you do, but if you don't, it's a tacky substance that hitters will put on their bat. So most hitters will put either a little bit on the handle of their bat, they'll put some above the handle of the bat so they can kind of go up there and just grab it to get a little bit more of that tacky feeling. Some hitters will even put it on their helmet. You'll see them go like this, and then they'll have a little bit more on their hands, again, to help them grip the bat. Now, if you want the exact rule when it comes to pine tar and hitters, here it is. It says, the bat handle for not more than 18 inches from its end may be covered or treated with any material or substance to improve the grip. Any such material or substance that extends past the 18 inch limitation shall cause the bat to be removed from the game. Now, I'm not sure if Everyone here is old enough. I actually wasn't born during this time, but does anyone remember when George Brett hit that two run home run back in 1983, I believe, uh, Royals versus Yankees. Two run homer takes the lead over the Yankees in the ninth, only to be called out eventually by the umpires for having too much pine tire. It went above that 18 inch mark. George Brett came storming out of the dugout, tried to kill an umpire. He said bullshit about 4,000 times during that tirade. Now the call was actually reversed eventually because the Royals protested that game. Okay, now let's look at the pitcher's rule when it comes to pine tar. Here's the rule. It says the pitcher shall not apply a foreign substance of any kind to the ball. So it's not just pine tar. There's just any foreign substance. That's in section like 6.02-7 or something like that. There's a lot of rules in baseball. It also says the pitcher shall not have on his person or in his possession any foreign substance. Okay, so let's get back to the original question then. Why are hitters allowed to use pine tar or a foreign substance to improve their grip, but a pitcher is not allowed to use pine tar or another foreign substance to improve their grip. So in my mind, it's because when it comes to hitters, it's about safety. When it comes to pitchers, it's about performance. Now, before you start yelling, because I know some people will disagree, especially pitchers, let me give you all of my thoughts on this. Now, I'm going to start off with this. I'm obviously a hitter, okay? I've hit plenty of times, lots and lots of times with both pine tar on my bat and without pine tar on my bat. And I feel that I can swing just as fast whether I have pine tar or no pine tar. And I feel like I can hit the ball just as far whether I have pine tar or no pine tar. And I feel like I can make just as solid contact with both pine tar and no pine tar. Now again, I'm going off feeling, okay? I didn't do any studies that showed, okay, what's my batting average with pine tar and without pine tar? What's my exit speed with pine tar and without pine tar? I'm just going off a general feeling that I had as a player. Now what pine tar did do for me was make sure that the bat didn't go flying out of my hand and injure somebody. And actually even when hitting without pine tar, the bat almost never flew out of my hands. The bat has only flown out of my hands on a follow through once in my entire career. And that was in Eugene, Oregon, my first year playing professional baseball. It was a really wet day in Oregon. On the follow through, the bat did slip out of my hands. It went up and hit the net that was protecting the fans. Now, if the bat does slip out of your hands, again, it's a safety thing because it could hit somebody in the stands, it could hit somebody in the dugout, it could hit a player on either team, it could hit an umpire. So again, for me, it's about safety. Now, let's look over at the pitchers. And you don't have to listen to me for this. I'm gonna give you a couple of quotes here from Trevor Bauer, and we've all heard Trevor Bauer talk about this multiple times. But he really goes in depth, and he's actually done studies to show how much adding 
a four-inch substance to the baseball can actually improve the performance of a pitcher. So as I said, Trevor Bauer has been complaining about pitchers using illegal substances to improve the performance for a bunch of years now. Let's look at a couple of his quotes. This first one is from the Players' Tribune. He said, I haven't found any other way to increase spin on a fastball except for using foreign substances. Baseball will never address that problem unless it has to, though, because I would guess 70% of the pitchers in the league use some sort of technically illegal substance on the ball. It's just that some organizations really know how to weaponize that and some don't. So the Astros are super advanced analytically and they know how to weaponize it. So this is back when he was really accusing the, the Astros and their pitchers of using illegal substances. Now, in another interview, this one was on HBO, he said, it needs to be talked about more because it affects every single pitch. And it's a bigger advantage than steroids ever were. Because if you know how to manipulate it, you can make the ball do drastically different things from pitch to pitch at the same velocity. Now, again, there's also, because I know people are gonna talk about this in pitchers, there is some safety concerns as well. And having a better grip on the ball, using something to help you get a better grip will ensure that fastballs don't slip out of a pitcher's hand and drill a batter, especially in the head where someone could really, really get hurt. And this is why I'm not totally against allowing pitchers to use something to help them get a better grip. And what pitchers have used mostly over the years for this is rosin and even some sunscreen. You mix it together, you've seen pitchers go to their wrist a lot. This helps create a little bit of a tacky substance to get better control. Again, for safety reasons, not so much performance. And I also think some changes can be made to the baseball itself because again, the baseball is very slick, especially Major League Baseball. I think there could be some changes made to the baseball to help pitchers get a better grip as well. But using things like spider tack and these other substances that they're making up in their basement that gives them a performance advantage can't happen in my opinion. So that's why I think hitters, are allowed to use pine tar and other substances, and pitchers aren't. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're gonna to wanna to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out.